So this question is a diagram question. We see the visual input provided here. Looks like we have two circles. The question says in the figure shown, point B and the center of each circle, which doesn't look like it's provided to us, lie on AC. Okay, so I see line segment AC. The ratio of AB to BC is 4 to 1. So when I label this diagram, I'm going to say that this distance, this diameter, A to B, is 4x. And this distance between B to C is just x. Because that would reflect what this 4 to 1 ratio means. The next sentence says, if the area of the small circle is 72. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to use a strategy that I love to use, actually, when there's a shaded versus non-shaded shape. And that is, especially when they're superimposed on top of each other, is to redraw each shape separately. So that's my small circle. Here's my large circle. I want to label it still. So this is A, B. This is 4X. I'm going to label this one. This will be A, C. This is kind of what we miss when we see the original shape. Because this diameter here would be 5X, right? Because like 4X plus X. So that's 5X. Now, the question just told me the area is 72 here. So A equals 72. Now, what can I do with that? Well, I know that the area, let me just go down here for more space. I know the area is equal to pi r squared. I know that my diameter for this small circle is 4x, which means my, my radius would be 2x. r equals 2x, right? Half of that 4x. So let me plug all that stuff in. So a is 72 equals pi r is 2x squared. This becomes 72 equals 4 pi x squared. You can divide both sides by 4. Um, 4 goes into 72 18 times, so it becomes 18 equals pi x squared. And I'm going to leave it there for now. And then um, I know that the radius here is equal to 2.5 x, right? Half of the 5 x. What's the question asking? What is the area of the shaded region? Okay, okay. So I want to find the area of the I want to find the area of this large circle. So this is 2.5x. So then the area will be pi 2.5x squared. And then go to my calculator, 2.5 squared is 6.25. This becomes 6.25 pi x squared. Aha, pi x squared is equal to 18. Um, so I could just plug that in. So 6.2, I was not expecting that. Um, 6.25, I got super excited about that. 6.25 times 18, 6.25 times 18 is equal to 112.5. So I expect my area here to be 112.5. Now the rest is pretty simple, right? Because if the area of the entire circle, if I pretend like the entire large circle is shaded, is 112.5. And then all I'm doing is coming in and erasing, basically, I'm erasing out the smaller circle, which I know is 72. Right? So I'm just erasing out the smaller circle, which I know is 72. In essence, that means I'm subtracting, so 112.5, I'm subtracting 72 from the 112.5 that was initially shaded. Then what's left is the area of the shaded region. And that would be 40.5. So my answer here, if I did everything correct here, would be 40.5. So that's what I believe the correct answer is.